time it is. You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. It's time to get this reaction video started. This is a video I'm going to do a reaction to. It was a request. It's called, Why Are Hindu Gods So Human? And it even goes into like Hinduism versus Christianity and Islam. So I was like, oh, this sounds interesting. Someone requested it. Thank you. I'm ready to just get it started. It has this cute little baby right there on the, on the first little scene. Y'all ready to do this with me? Let's go. When we look at the pastimes of the Hindu gods, they end up displaying the most fallible and human of qualities. The child Krishna runs away oh, in fear from his mother Yashoda after Can breaking pots Krishna? and eating butter. When Sita is kidnapped by Ravana, Lord Ram is utterly distraught and weeps. When he wishes to rescue her, he needs the help of monkeys to build a bridge and fight for him. And the hammer mom. Hindus are generally very comfortable with the idea that God can be intensely human in appearance and behaviour. But they can often struggle to answer questions about it from those who don't. Christians and Muslims in particular can often be left surprised and confused when they hear about the deeds of the Hindu deities. God is meant to be all-powerful and needs nothing from anyone. And if that is the case, oh, so why does he have weird. so don't, many flaws? Don't ever say that. I started thinking, how can, how can such character of Ram, Sita, Lakshman, all this be a god? How can I agree that they are gods? They, when they are not able to save their own family and themselves, how will they save me and my family? He's going to tell you us know, some stuff. If God cannot know what are the evil plans done by the villains and the evil people, how will he know what's happening in the world? To correct this misunderstanding, we need to get right to the root of the problem. Let's find out Those why Christians said. and Muslims who believe their religion is the only way to truth follow a salvation theology and they see everything as leading to a coming apocalypse. There are stories in their scripture of different prophets and saviors mm -hmm. warning us about the coming end times. According to these stories, there is a day of judgment approaching and uh -huh. we need to be ready. Like, Hindus, however, have no idea of an apocalypse. Oh, like there is no final day of judgment. I like that Instead, better. Hindus have the concept of Leela. Leela? Leela means divine play. It is where God, the supreme reality, takes on limitation for the endearment of his devotees. Whereas those who follow a salvation theology are looking to survive God, Hindus are looking to evolve and actually experience God. Apocalypse is built on the idea that we have one life and the end of the world is coming. Life is like a football match. There is a limited time where the winners go to heaven and the losers are condemned. Yeah, that's what they teach there is an us urgency for everyone to jump on board and believe the right thing. Mm -hmm. Hindu Leela, however, is founded on the individual evolving over many lives to realize their relationship with God. Mm. Unlike Christianity and Islam, time is not linear with a final end of the world. It is an eternal cyclic process where souls and material nature are repeatedly projected out into existence and then withdrawn. Hinduism is not like a football match, but more like the making of a beautiful painting. There are no winners and losers, but there is a gradual manifestation of our connection with the divine. During the various leelas described in Hinduism, God is intensely human. He becomes like us so that on some level we can understand and relate to him. Through his deeds and pastimes, we gain an insight into his personality and we have the possibility of building a deep, intimate connection with him. Simple it's descriptions beautiful. of God's it's mercy right have here. a limitation, but actually seeing him physically in action with others demonstrates who he is to us. Hindus obviously understand that God okay. needs no one's help, but in the Ramayana, for example, the abduction of Sita shows us That's the example that, of devotees around Lord Ram. To get when we hear to about save, how the monkeys and Hanuman the served Ram perfectly yeah. in every situation, we realize in ourselves what it is to be a servant of God. We oh. understand what it is to sacrifice and deliver selflessly for a higher cause. Oh, that's God's apparent difficulty allows us to engage and participate with him. The Bhagavad Purana is a scripture which is filled with endless leelas. 
In the 10th book, it constantly describes the deeds of the all-attractive persona, Krishna. Krishna. On one hand, we hear about the mischievous thief who steals butter oh, and he's even so eats cute. mud. He's so cute. The next, we are told about how this very same child shows his mother the whole universe in his mouth. Why again and that? again, the Bhagavatam shows the sweet and endearing humanness of Krishna and then contrasts it with Krishna as the ultimate, all-powerful Supreme Lord. Leela is all about God That's willingly drawing that us mouth, mouth into a relationship with him and then through that relationship, making us perceive his glory. God in Hinduism does not want to be feared. He wants to be known. He wants to give us the highest joy of loving him. That's this is why we can have him. different relationships with him. This is the reason why Krishna is the dear friend of the cowherds, why he is adored as the valiant hero that slays demons, and why he is the lover of the gorpies. By God taking on limitation and even appearing vulnerable, we are given different portals of access to know him on a deeper level. Krishna needs nothing, but he engages in Leela for our sake. To experience the truth of God in all his majesty is too difficult for the mind to take. In chapter 11 of the Gita, Arjuna is shocked at the reality of Krishna's cosmic form, and he prays in desperation. After seeing this universal form which I have never seen before, I am gladdened, but at the same time my mind is disturbed with fear. Therefore please bestow your grace upon me and reveal again that other form, O Lord of the Universe. The full manifestation of divinity does not inspire intimacy and love, but rather awe and fear. Our mind which belongs to this physical world cannot tolerate its magnificence. This is why God takes on a form. The important thing to realise is that although the relationships with Krishna are described in human terms, they are actually divine. The devotees around Krishna are utterly surrendered to him. When we read about the different events, we see how they have given up their own will, how their hearts and minds are entirely absorbed in him. Leela is as much about the perfected devotees as it is about God himself. Meditation and contemplation on these Leelas purifies us. It causes us in some way to enter into that same Leela with the Lord himself. And as this happens, the Lord's deeds become the reality of the relationship we are looking to achieve. Mainstream Islam has no real concept of Leela since it is entirely blasphemous for God to take on any form. In fact, for many Muslims, oh. it would be considered the worst of all sins. Well, Christianity but one could really. argue that the story of Jesus, Jesus is a Leela, yeah. since it is God who has taken on a limitation for the benefit of mankind. There is some truth in this, in that the personality of God becomes revealed through the actions of Christ. His compassion and love for humanity shows God's love for this world. Mm -hmm. From this point of view, one can draw a number of parallels with the bhakti traditions of Hinduism. But, so uh -oh. long as a Christian believes Christ is the only way, then the emphasis on Christ's uh -oh. life is based more on an apocalyptic scenario than on Hindu yeah, Leela. Because for them, the <laughs> advent of Christ is more about being saved from damnation mm. than realising his love. What makes yeah. this idea of Leela so profound is that it accepts the paradox of God, who is unknowable, omnipresent and all-powerful, existing simultaneously in a material, limited form. That's Any that, tradition so which accepts sense. the notion of the Avadar, where the Lord incarnates in form, is always filled with mysticism and produces various saints who have attained spiritual heights. Seeing the unlimited in the limited and the infinite in the finite naturally opens the door to a deeper spiritual perspective. Leela is all about God crossing down, taking on a name and form, walking and talking like us so that we can aspire to know him. Seeing the outside display of the qualities of God and his devotees awakens these same qualities within. This is how surrender, grace and love grow inside us. This is why Hinduism treasures these Leelas in songs, poetry and performances. Whatever we give attention to becomes stronger and by worshipping these Leelas we humble ourselves allowing their reality to govern our life. Krishna so states, oh. I am never manifest to the foolish and unintelligent. For them, I am covered by my power of illusion, my yoga maya. 
and so the deluded world knows me not as the unborn and infallible. That's why he in America. To those who do not have the depth of perception, <laughs> they judge the leaders of Hinduism in the most shallow and ignorant of ways. They are unable to perceive the divinity that lies behind them. The mind and normal physical eyes bound to this world cannot know God. Mm. Before Arjuna is able to see Krishna's cosmic form on the battlefield, he is blessed by him to have divine eyes. In the same way, all spiritual practice in Hinduism is designed to attain these divine eyes. Oh, divine Once we have eyes. them, we will understand the truth behind the divine leelas of the Lord. We will see that there is a loving God who is longing eyes. to know us even more than we are longing to know him. Many thanks for listening. I mean, that's the thing. I, the more I learn about this and, and get with it, because I was raised Catholic to Christianity. And that's exactly true. Like, that's why people that get saved, they're worried about damnation. It's true. And what kind of following would you... Is that the kind of following you want? Like, people scared? And that's why... You, like, I, I'm with this. You know, you want to follow your 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 lords and your and your and your gods out of love and devotion not just because of fear that makes so much sense oh. and it's so deep and that's why you have so many books and so much to learn and I'm like there's too much because it is so deep and it gets and it gets you know so detailed and intricate and heart that's what, what did that say about like this ain't for unintelligent people <laughs> i was like yeah because it gets deep and you really have to become one with like your your what is the word you're like your your i can't talk i can't even think look that's how much i'm like taking into this i didn't even have words to talk while this is going on i'm just like oh yes i'm, I'm trying to absorb that's it like you absorb it in I'm just obsessed <laughs> in a good way in a good way I'm just like want to learn more and and you know come to more understanding about it like y'all could see that's all the videos I want to do <sighs> wow well, whoever got me into like really showing me the way of this I'm just gonna be thankful <laughs> I don't even remember who said the first video I should react to and and really got me you know hooked into this because I am all about learning this Hinduism I think it's such a beautiful religion beautiful that's why I said like the other ones they compared it you're, you're out of fear out of fear like the end the doomsday is coming that's what we all believe the doomsday is coming with locusts flying and but this is about just love and and finding your inner you know being and your and your inner spirit oh i love it all right y'all let me know what you think comments thumbs and all that till next time Mwah!